Good morning, guys. We're climbing on Grandpa's 656 now. We got hooked up the manure spreader. We gotta scrape some, our uh, feeding barn floor out because we're gonna vaccinate gals and heifers today. So we gotta clean that up. We don't have the best setup, but we make it work. So. Need two hands. I did work on this. This will be the video after it. The steering works in it, but it's still making the noise. I'm not sure if there might still be air in the system, so I'll run it a little while and see if it'll come out. But we're back now in the shop now. Get down there and get loaded up. It, it'll only be one, maybe a little more than a load. Used to haul all the manure with this. There's a 986 before 4020 come around. He does. There is a little more than a load in here.
giving each cow and heifer two shots? Are you giving them two cc's of the vision? Is it seven plus or 20 20? Mm -hmm. 20 20 vision, seven, and then five cc's of virus shield. Mm -hmm. Each cow gets two shots of them, and then mine we're putting a green tag in their ear also to make identification easier. Have you banded those guys? What one? The calves? 26, I have not yet. So one with all white faces, male, the other one's female. Okay. Just don't forget to get the tetanus on them two weeks before. And then booster. Oh, is this a kitty? Yeah. Hi, kitty. Where'd you come from? You're, you got a big belly. Hi. Right. It eats good. Oh, all right. on the grill to thaw and she stole a tube of hamburger and ate half a pound of raw hamburger. You like this, don't you? That's one of yours. Get a yellow tag then.
cows and heifers here at the home farm, they are vaccinated and re-tagged and tagged with the right colors now. Mine still have a yellow, but the green is the only one that matters. It didn't take time to cut the old tags out. But I got the chute pulled out. My brother should be getting my truck hooked up to the trailer. We're going to load the chute up on the trailer and take it to my place and we'll just drive the skid loader over there. It's only a few miles, three. And we got to move some bales around there and hang a gate to kind of build a catch pin. Um, our setup we used today, which I didn't record in the barn any loading, but it worked pretty good. So we're going to do something similar to that at my place. We've only got seven there. so And they're the old cows. They're, they're all old cows over there. So they're pretty easy going. So I imagine we got the hard part done. Which that group was the most we'd ever done and the quickest amount of time we'd ever done. We've got 12 here and seven at the other place. It went pretty smooth. The first, right away, we used a bad gate and we had a cow jump it and it bent the gate. And after, I figured it was going to go worse than it did, but it ended up going pretty smooth. So we got into a rhythm and it seemed to work. So we'll get back with you at the other place. So we got the bale spears loaded up. We got to move some bales and got the chute and a couple gates loaded up. We'll head to my place and see if we can. Get them taken care of. Got a couple of salt blocks to throw out and some feed bags to burn. But let's see if we can catch DJ at the skid loader. Well, we got all the cows over here. My place vaccinated. Didn't do the calves there. They'll get shots when they get uh, castrated and tagged this fall. But basically, we swung that silver gate up. The head gate was back towards me a little bit opened it up to that and we just run them through and let them loose out here these bales aren't in here let them loose we close that gate then when we was done we swung the silver gate out and just run them back through here into their pen it worked well it's the first time we've worked cattle on this barn but that setup seemed to work pretty well wish i had heavier gates we bet one of our catching gates up pretty good I had a cow get her head under it and Ripped it right off the wall and bent it. But I, we did exactly the same thing here we did to the other cows over at the home farm, so. Nothing special there. I'm gonna need to shovel that out and get all that manure out of there, but. Gonna, gonna leave the head gate here at my place just cause you can't really get any equipment in there. It's inside and it's out of the way. It had been sitting outside the barn, so. It, it's good to have it in. Um, we're gonna take skid loader back to the farm because we don't, I don't need it over here for anything that I know of. And gotta fix a flat tire on my four wheeler. So, but that, that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, that'll be all for this video. Bye.